South Korea has admitted it fired artillery shells that triggered an early morning clash with North Korea. However, it says it was part of a military drill and denied it was directed at the North. Earlier, Seoul blamed the North for what it called an unprovoked shelling of its island. Pyongyang claimed the South had violated its maritime border during the military drills. Seoul has since threatened its neighbor with what it calls enormous retaliation. Russia's foreign ministry said the clashes were unacceptable and called on both sides to show restraint. What happened deserves condemnation. We insist that both sides must take measures to pacify the situation and prevent similar action in the future. Unfortunately, this is already the third incident of the kind this year. But this time, there's a colossal danger of the situation descending into military conflict. This must be avoided. Russia has repeatedly warned of the growing tension in the region and is now counting on both sides to arrive at a suitable conclusion. Well, Pavel Lechakov from the Moscow State University told RT the international community is prejudiced against the North and is ready to blame it for everything with little evidence. Uh, even if we take the case of previous case of uh, Chonan uh, worship, so the conclusion that it was the uh, uh, blame, uh, it was blame of uh, Northern was taken with, uh, much, uh, with not so much uh, evidences. And if we take just the UN uh, statement on this matter, they don't uh, mention exactly North Korea, but still, uh, I think 80 percent of uh, articles of media is still blaming North Korea for this episode.